what's happening, what's poppin'? Welcome back to another great installment of Tough, Tough, Tough Calls. And today we got a super tough call. I mean, right. Dylan was pissed when I told him this <laughs> idea. He was pissed. He was pissed. You was pissed. Oh, I You wasn't, wasn't even pissed. hearing me out. I mean, when I... We gonna get into it. We gonna it. get into it. We gonna get into it. Okay. But before we get into it, why don't you guys get into that like button? Thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to Dylan. His channel will be in my description. My channel will be his description. And make sure you drop your comments below because I feel like this is going to be one where you guys will have a lot to say. Also, there's a link in both of our bios to buy us a coffee to help fuel tough calls. Also, the link is in our bio to subscribe to our podcast, Tough Calls, where we have some of your favorite athletes and some of your favorite TV analysts talking about our questions. So, today we are proposing, I saw on the World Wide Web. <laughs> so, Dylan thinks it's absurd. And some of you guys are probably typing books in the comments right now. Probably. And <laughs> the when I first heard it, I thought it was absurd. The more I thought about it, it's not absurd. I just don't He was so wanting like to happen. Yeah. So, it is a Ben Simmons. Okay, so 76ers fans who are on this video... Shout out to my guy. I can't remember his name, but I'm going to put his... I'm going to definitely remember to put his comment up here. My guy, he stays on my video, stays commenting. He is ready to get Ben out of here. And boy, this one is for you. So you better make sure you're on this video. He said just Ben at all. I, so I'm rambling. But it's half people want to keep Ben. You can say, do your take for John about people wanting John. Or half the people are like, shit Ben off. And then I do a video that ships... I do a trade video that gets rid of Ben. And then people are like, no, we need a way to keep it. Then I then I give y'all a rumor where we keep Ben, and then y'all like, no, get rid of it. And then we got a guy in Atlanta who kind of in the same seat. Yeah, so some of y'all are like, get rid of John Collins. But I feel like the majority of people are saying, well, actually, I don't know, it do be kind of split. Some of y'all are saying, <laughs> keep John Collins. Some of y'all are saying, no, trade John, John Collins, get rid of him, blase, blase. So, so when I saw this rumor, I was like, what? So, as you can see by the title thumbnail, this rumor is a trade rumor sending Ben Simmons in a 2022 pick. I don't remember. A exactly future, a future first round pick to down south to Atlanta, mm -hmm. and John Collins and Cam Reddish will be coming up to Philly. Now, I'm gonna let Dylan get all, all his grievances, and then I'm gonna say how it could work for the Sixers. <laughs> <laughs> and how it might not work for us too so my initial reaction to this uh, trade is no first of all I'm not giving up Cam Reddish he's improved a lot this year he has had a little bit of a down slope but mostly I've seen improvement this year he's had a he had like maybe two three bad games so far but mostly I've seen improvement overall this year is given big improvement from Cam Reddish. John Collins has been playing a lot better. Just last game um, helped us for a 17 point comeback in the fourth quarter. We're down 17 fourth quarter. Came back against the Detroit Pistons. He had 31 points and 11 rebounds. And that's why we want to keep him. <laughs> <laughs> so John Collins has been doing great. If he keeps stuff like that up, like I said, if John averages 20, at least probably 20 and 10, definitely like 25 and 12, he's going to get a contract. Atlanta's going to find a way to keep him. That's just how I feel. That's just how I feel. Anyways, um, Ben Simmons, for me, just what I've been seeing and what I've been hearing from Simone, Ben not about it for real. Ben is, he a good facilitator, but Trey kind of learning how to facilitate. These last couple games, he had, what was, a, he had like a 30-plus point game. I think it was like 34 and 11 or something like that, 12 assists. Trey is slowly learning how to facilitate more. His shot selection is getting a little bit better since I aired him out. Anyways, and since some other people, John and Lloyd probably aired him out in the locker room some more. Anywho, Trey's learning how to facilitate. He's learning how to play with talent. We don't need Ben. The only way I can kind of see Ben fitting is Trey will obviously have to move over to the two. He have to play more off ball because Ben ain't shooting. He ain't been shooting. And he's not even taking that many shots. Simone, you've been telling me so many times about Ben Simmons going we'll like about it. shooting like nine, seven field goals throughout the game, and that's it. Like scoring 
nine points. I mean, the facilitation is there. That's cool. But Trey already doing that, and he's not afraid to fill it up either. That's the energy I need. I don't need Ben Simmons. Sure, if you give me seven assists, ten assists, that's great at night. But you giving me nine points, I'm going to need more than that, Ben Simmons. So I don't like it, especially for a young stud in Cam Reddish and a upcoming All-Star, maybe even this year, in John Collins, depending on how the record falls out and depending on how he keeps playing it. I ain't doing that. Okay, let me say this real quick for my Sixers folks, and I receive everything you say, but I got a couple of things to kind of refute you. Okay. So, first of all, for my Sixers fans, now, it's a big pro and it's a big con. Now, the big pro, I mean, John Collins attacks the rim. John Collins loves to attack the rim. He's just so excited playing in the post. I mean, the guy just gobbling and gobbling, 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 gobbling up the points. And he can spread the floor, too. And he can spread the floor, too. I'm saying John Collins going to have, what, was he averaging 20-some points a night? He's somewhere. He well, he can. He, 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 he can there. average 20 a night. He, he can. There. Now, imagine John Collins. You guys know how Embiid loves to play off the lane now. But we don't have a guy that's attacking that rim when Embiid's out the lane, which is a lot of times Embiid ends up having to shoot the three when that lane's wide open. Imagine a guy like John, because Ben's not driving to the lane when the lane is clear because Embiid and pulled defenders out the lane. Imagine John Collins and the John Collins would eat up. I'm saying, and John, now mind you, also, of course, you might ask, how is a guy who loves to attack the rim going to play alongside, you know, a guy like Embiid who we do want to really play love? John is playing very well next to Clint Capella, and Clint Capella is your traditional five. Clint Capella is nowhere near as mobile and athletic and as all over the court as Embiid is. So if John is getting close to 20 points a night with Embiid, with with Clint Capella getting 25, getting 20, imagine what he'll do with Embiid who's going to clear open lanes for him where Clint Capella is not clearing those lanes for John. So imagine what if John's doing that with Clint clogging the lane, imagine what John could do with us with an open lane. Now let me refute it because I love Cam Reddish. Cam Reddish has superstar potential, but if we lose Ben Simmons, who's going to be our point guard though? Because that I don't think Cam's ready to start at the point. Not, no, not no, at the point. No, he's not ready to start. And then that means, okay, Shake Milton would be our starter, but then that means Tyrese will have to lead the second unit. Now, I'm not saying it can't work, but that's the big question to me. Is, Tyre- is Tyrese ready to lead our second unit if maybe, Shake has to start as our starter? Maybe Seth can play point guard. Can Seth play point guard? Mm. Ooh, that's a no. I'm... That's a no. I mean, I haven't seen it, and it's yeah, probably yeah. I haven't seen it for a reason. Dude, that's facts. And but my <laughs> thing is, it could work. It could work beautifully. The only thing, the big question would be, and now of course we're gonna have a superstar in Cam that we haven't even talked about. And Cam is a guy who can space the floor. He can defend. I know you guys are gonna be like, oh, defense we're losing with Ben. Okay, John and Cam can defend, and Cam could, who knows, be a better defender than Ben one day. Um, so I'm loving it there. Now for you guys, of course, it's the big question of. You know, you're going to have two facilitators. Mm-hmm. One who ain't doing no scoring for us. Six is the way. Oh, but this is our other big point. Y'all got a lot of people to pay soon. We do. We do. We do. We're going to have to make some tough decisions, too. Are we going to pay John? Um, Cam and DeAndre coming up sooner rather than later. Yes, it's only their second year, but still coming up sooner rather than later. Trey, we're going to have to lock him up soon. You know, we got, we're going to have to have some tough decisions to make sooner tough rather than problems. later, but... I'm not willing to give up a guy in John Collins who's so efficient. He's been so efficient Haven't this year. Haven't you made John Collins He's trade, Rubens? I have. <laughs> That's for the views. Ooh, you sleazy. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> God, so not really. But John, I don't, and I've been, and a lot of my trade rumors, I said I don't. I, and and you'll trade for time, Andre Drummond, just not. Yeah, yeah. I'm trading for somebody of equal or less, uh, not equal or lesser, of equal or greater value because John Collins is so efficient. He takes great shots. I mean, I I love me some John Collins, and I hope we keep him. And, and I've said and I've said that in all the rumors. You know, I hope we re-sign him. Um, so yeah, I ain't trying to do that trade. Here we go. Um, but Sixers fans, whew, we need to call down south. Come on, y'all can try. But anyways, guys, Ben is a guy who we're saying, you know, he might maybe just want to get out of Philly. Maybe yeah. just need to. Who knows? He can come down to Atlanta and ball for y'all. I, I'm, I'm good, love. 
Okay, make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. If you want to see us do more tough calls, then drop down in the description box. Hashtag tough calls and we got you guys. But until next time, bye. Peace. <laughs>